All right, guys, today is a, another episode of Club Review, and today I am going to look at Wolves, who are having, I think it's fair to say, a good season so far. So Wolves' form this season has been a bit mixed. It started off quite badly. I think they lost all three of their first uh, three games in August. Uh, but I think a lot of Wolves fans thought that um, you know, they, they, those three results weren't a fair reflection on uh, how the games actually went. Wolves played quite well in all of those games. And then eventually uh, the, the results did start coming. And then uh, they had another downturn in form just before Christmas. But since then, it's picked back up again. So it's gone bad, good, bad, good. Uh, recently, they're doing really well. They've won uh, four out of their last five games, including a win away at Old Trafford. And um, the one game they didn't win, I believe, was a draw to Chelsea, which, you know, is never a bad result. Um, so they are doing really well at the moment. Uh, in, in the Cups, they uh, lost in the League Cup to Tottenham on penalties. I think that was back in September. Uh, beating Forest in their first round. Um, and then in the FA Cup, they have just beaten Sheffield United 3-0. So, yeah, they're, they're still in the FA Cup. I think they've got Norwich in the next round. So, you know, they'll be hoping to get somewhere in that like they did in, uh, I think it was 2019, when they reached the semi-final but lost to Watford in extra time to a lovely Gerard De La Feu goal. I can't remember if that was the winner or the equaliser for Watford, but it was a brilliant goal either way. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're doing all right. So Wolves' best starting eleven for me is Jose Sarr in goal. Since he's been brought to the Premier League, he's been arguably one of the best goalkeepers in the league. I think he's made more saves than anyone in the league this season. I'm not 100% sure if that stat is correct, but it genuinely wouldn't surprise me if it is. Uh, and then a back three of Romain Sice and uh, Connor Cody and Max Kilman. Kilman's done really well since he uh, started getting regular game time last season. Um, he, he looks like he could potentially uh, get into the England squad if he keeps up his good form because... I'm not trying to be too harsh on him, but if Tyrone Minks can get into the England squad, I think Max Kilman stands a chance because um, if, if you look at the England squad right now, the only weak area, I believe, is centre-back, if we're being honest. Um, that, that, that looks like a position that is up for grabs, definitely. All the other positions, there's so much quality. Um, and Connor Cody's bit as good as always bit for Wolves. And then in midfield four of Semedo on the right wing back role. He's been better this season than he was in his first season. Ryan Aignori on the left, really good young wing back. And then in midfield, Ruben Nevers and Joe Matinho. They've been Wolves' midfield for the past four years, I think now. And they're still going really well. Obviously, you've got the youth of Neves and the loads and bucket loads of experience from uh, Xiaomi Tinio. And he's still going really good, in it, doing really good in his uh, mid-30s. And then a front three of uh, Daniel Pedence, Raul Jimenez, who's um, done quite well in his first uh, but the, in his comeback season from that awful injury last season. And I've also gone with Pedro Neto. I don't think he's actually played yet this season, but, but I, th I think as soon as he comes back from injury, he will be a really good player for Wolves. He was very good last season. Uh, it's just uh, injuries ruled him out so far this season, but he does look a really good player, or he did look a really good player last season. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the best 11, I believe, um, for Wolves right now. I, I think I, I was I was toying between whether to put uh, Huang Yi Chan in um, for Pedro Neto, but I, th I thought um, if we're going best 11 off when everyone's fit, I think Pedro Neto was very good last season. Okay, so Bruno Large is doing a brilliant job at Wolves. He's sort of like revitalised a, a team that it felt like was going a bit stale under Nuno last season. Um, Nuno 
has done a brilliant job at Wolves, don't get me wrong, the first two seasons in the Premier League he did really well to uh, get back-to-back -back seventh place finishes I think, so in theory he's like the best team outside of the top six if you like in his first uh, two seasons at the club, but last season I think they finished 14th which you know is, isn't uh, an improvement at all, it's a uh, downgrade. Um, so it did need someone new and Bruno Large has done a brilliant job uh, since he's come in. He's kept the same uh, system, the 3-4-3 three, three, that Nuno uh, Espirito Santo used. Um, but he, I don't know, he just um, feels like... Um, feels like they, they're more... Uh, threatening going forward or it could just be as well partly to do with Raul Jimenez is back that that probably has quite a lot to do with it actually but uh, it, it does feel as though they are um, slightly more lethal in attack going forwards like um, last season there were times when they went forwards and you just thought that they're not scoring it I don't think uh, but yeah he, he's done really well Bruno Large this season Okay, so in terms of additions to the team, I think it's quite simple where Wolves, uh, what what Wolves need. Uh, I, I'm not sure if it's it's improvements they need. It's more of a case of um, backups, like or, or you know, you, you don't sign a player to be a backup. You sign a player to challenge for a place in the team, but they they need more depth basically. So I've gone with two centre-backs and a central midfielder because centre-backs, they are so light. Um, they've got three very good centre-backs uh, this season in Romain Sice, Connor Cody and Max Kilman. Uh, but in terms of backups, Willy Body hasn't played a game this season, hardly. I don't think he has played one. Um, and he's really their only backup centre-back. So I've gone with Sven Botman from Lille because, you know, he did really well in the French League last season. I think, yeah, they won league on. Uh, he's a player who's very strong in the air, brilliant passer, and uh, makes very few errors in his game. Um, and then another centre-back I've gone for, won the Spanish League last year, uh, is uh, Felipe for Atletico Madrid. You know, he's very experienced, uh, very strong in the air again, uh, wins the ball a lot and is a brilliant tackler. So he he would fit in uh, at Wolves really well, I think, as well as Van Botman, uh, and could depend could well you'd think they would both uh, be an upgrade on what Wolves currently have. But you know, I I, I wouldn't. So, so sometimes uh, when players do come to the Premier League, they they don't make uh, they they don't do as well as they do in other leagues. In fact, that's quite often the case. So. It wouldn't be a formality that they would break into the Stein eleven if they were to join. Of course, this is theoretical, by the way. It's not like Wolves are going after these players. Um, and then in central midfield, this is sort of... Um, I've gone with a big name, a player who would cost a fair bit. Um, because I, th I think Ruben Nevers could potentially leave in the summer. So I've gone with Brighton's Eve Basuma because... Um, he's, I think he fit in brilliantly in uh, Wolves' two in midfield, and and also Jaime Martino is getting on now, so they are going to think need to think about who, who's going to replace him eventually, because uh, they're, they're only again they're only real backup for Neves and Martino right now is uh, Den Donker, um, so they do need someone. Basuma, we all know what he's like. He's a brilliant tackler, brilliant uh, at, like regaining possession, winning the ball in midfield and he's also a brilliant dribbler and can shoot from range so you know he, he would be a brilliant uh, play, brilliant signing for uh, Wolves if they were to sign him. So in summary Wolves right now are doing really well, it's, they're, they're currently 8th in the league just outside a European spot and like that, there are quite a few good teams above them. So they're, they're sort of like the best out of the mid-table teams this season. Uh, yeah, they're, they're doing really well. I'd give them an 8 out of 10 on in terms of how they're doing. Um, they're, they're, I still feel though their squad is uh, 
quite thin, so they would need to sign a few players for me to uh, consistently get a European spot again. But yeah, they are doing really well, and Bruno Large is doing a brilliant job.